Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, let's get started. Uh, we, for this project, I'm using a piece of bar stock. It is um, one half inch wide, and I cut off a piece that is 12 inches long. Now, the first technique I'm going to show you here is something called upsetting the metal. So let's say we want the end of this bar to be larger with more mass than the rest of the bar. How do we do that? We, do, we use a technique called upsetting. And what I'm doing is I'm placing it on the anvil and I am hammering down on it. And see how it's getting thicker? It's kind of like forming a trombone or a trumpet horn like that. See, that's wonderful. That has more steel now. Otherwise, how could you do it? If you just hammered on it, you would thin it out and this thickens it and you can do a lot of this and this is a great technique for scroll work and various different things and you can localize that now watch this I'm pouring water on the bar where I don't want the upsetting to spread let's cool that part of the bar down so the flaring of the steel only occurs where we want it to we don't want it to continue up the bar so that's it that's the first technique and it's called upsetting metal and it's a very common thing for blacksmiths to do. And there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, you could clamp it in a vise and hammer it. You can just ha just pound it down on the ground or on a sheet of metal or something like that. But this is just about right. This is what we want. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.